How you feeling about it? As long as she don't look like she just got out of Taco Bell, I'm golden. I gave this guy a fat grandma. That's the one fear that my canvas had. We still talk about her like she's in the next room. That's how much she meant to the family. I'm trying to project confidence in this scenario, even though I'm super freaking out on the inside. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your fundamental tattoo skills. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Are you nervous? Oh, super nervous. Super nervous? Yes. Oh, great. Well, you know what? So am I. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited about this. I think I'm really going to impress the judges. The placement's great. I'm using a lot of pretty color. I'm determined to show the judges that I know what I'm doing. I'm not doing so bad. Good <laughs> CJ. Keep rocking. I actually think CJ's tattoo is pretty weak. And this might be a bit of a dick move, but I'm actually encouraging her. Sometimes a false sense of security goes a long ways. It's one spot, man. It's not good. I'm pissed at myself. I'm disappointed with myself. Just wish I would have had the time to, like, really do those little tiny tweaks. These judges are going to tear me up. It's going to be way brutal. Welcome, artists. This was the judge's first chance to see what you can do on real live skin. This week, your elimination tattoo was giving a virgin their first ink. We were testing your fundamentals. CJ. How are you doing? I'm freaking out. I'm not a fan of the colored outline. Well, I was kind of going for a softer feel. That brown outline looks like Look at the outline of that hand. I believe that over time, it's going to get even worse. There's a lot of stuff done almost exclusively with color, and I, th I think it holds up great over time. You did a pretty face, which bums me out, because if you would have just done it with a black outline, you would be standing in different shoes. You've had a rough start. Man, your ink blew up and this and that. I know, dude. I feel you, and I want to see you do great and you prove that you kind of know how to do certain things by doing that face that way but how do you do that face and then just move off to the right and lose it you got to pick it up CJ K Cutter neither of you impressed us tonight CJ let's take a look at your tattoo can you read for us what it says on that banner first Corinthians 13, 1 through 7. Read it again. Sound it out phonetically. Cor... Corinthians is misspelled. What happened there? I don't know. I don't know how I missed that. 80 to 90 percent of what I do is a cover-up. So for me, it's an easy fix. How are you going to make that T and I? If, if I plug it real hard with some whites and ochres. Then what do you do about the jacked up word? It's just a difference between an I and a T. That's an easy fix. You should work at a plastic surgeon's office then because you'd make a load of money. I call total bullshit on that theory. I don't believe it. Either one of you could justifiably be sent home tonight. The judges have decided. CJ, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack up your machines and close up shop. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your ingenuity by tattooing a cover-up. You have six hours, and your time starts now. You ready for this? Definitely. Ingenuity is very necessary to be able to do a cover-up. There's a lot of different elements understanding the positioning of the tattoo and being able to disperse light and dark evenly so it's not so obvious where the cover-up is. It's going to be a long day. I don't want to approach this tattoo using a lot of black. I want to get some opaque grays in there. I want to use some kind of texture. I'm going to be down to the wire, I think. I'm sure these other guys are underestimating me. It's my size right off the bat. It's something I've dealt with all my life, but that's what keeps me going. Sooner or later, they're gonna respect me for what I do. I 
you doing the wipe down? Yeah, right, right down his nose a little bit. The cover up, it's not covering. My last option is black. You know, that's one of the only places I can put a light color, light. you know what I mean? Because the cover up is all like right in the middle. I've been backtracking a little bit, second guessing myself, so I'm kind of running out of time. I gotta go with the black and I gotta get this tattoo covered. This week, you were asked to tattoo a cover-up. We're testing your ingenuity. Mike. I think I covered it pretty well. My client's first option was to do his dog, which was pure white. We all know that wouldn't happen. It's definitely one of those tattoos that's just got cover-up written all over it. My first intention with the piece was to do some more hair texture, but I decided to abandon that, lock in some solid color, and get that cover-up done. If you pulled an American Pitbull reference and you saw that this part was lighter, you would have been able to shade in like some gray, even opaque, and kind of break up this darkness. And I think that's a big design flaw in your tattoo. Lalo, Mike, Trey, none of you impressed us today. Mike. You did a big, huge black tattoo. Not exactly what we're looking for. We're not looking for the big, obvious black cover-up. I think I made the right choice by pounding in the black because my first approach was to load it up with texture, but I don't think my client's skin could handle it. I'd rather be up here from pounding in solid black than have a screen full of chopped meat up there. Any one of you could justifiably be sent home. The judges have decided. Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're simply going home because your color palette is way off because you're in such a dark area. A lot of black, that sent you home today. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to tattoo an American traditional design. That includes an eagle and a flag. Remember, we're testing you online. Your time starts now. Do this, man. I think I'm going on the side. Think about going on the side? Once the canvas suggested that he wants to do this on the ribs, I was a little bit worried because that's one of those areas that is iffy. How would you sit for that first one? That's fine. I'll, I'll be good. Sure? Positive. Now we're under time constraints, and I have the pressure of doing lines on the lower rib cage, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. My canvas's pain tolerance is sinking and sinking really, really fast. And those are words that you really don't wanna hear when you're tattooing. Almost there, man, it's almost there. I wipe away and that line's got a little bump in it. Flag is the only wonky part that I got, just hoping that somebody else up worse than I do. This week, we went old school and had you tattoo an American traditional design with an eagle and a flag, giving us similar elements to judge. We're testing you online. Ron, step right up. This is a rough tattoo. Putting that dark color behind the darkness of the eagle just makes mud. Eagle is black. You don't need to put black in the background of a black eagle. The flag's just jacked. The way that the area where the stars are bends, no way in hell that wouldn't be stars on the other side. It's the same on both sides. Not a good tattoo, man. As you've learned today, even though American traditional tattoos are simplistic in style, that doesn't mean they're easy. For the first time ever, the judges don't have a best tattoo of the day. All four of you are in the bottom this week. Wrong. You've had a lot of hard times with outlines. And in this tattoo, man, we feel like this is an impossible tattoo to fix. And I feel like this line work was a little bit better than the last There's one. There's a lot of rough lines in there. My first traditional tattoo, first time ever drawing one. What I find kind of amazing is you entered a competition show about tattooing called Ink Master, and the uh, popular excuse for everything seems to be inexperience. I fought tooth and nail to get where I am. And it's even harder for me being a black tattoo artist. Everything I've got, I've fought for. If you guys let me get a pass, I promise you, you won't be calling my name next week. The judges have decided. Ron, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It was a tough decision for us overall. We feel like it's the toughest tattoo to fix. Please pack your machines and close up shop. My canvas wants a sun and a moon tattoo on her upper back. You know, we might not even need this. All around? I mean, no, we do. What I'm trying to figure out now is the design. It's almost impossible because she's constantly contradicting herself. 
I don't want the face. So I can use like. I mean, you could do the face. It's up to you. I mean, honestly. You don't say it's up to me because then you just change your mind instantly. Don't I say it's because it, you said it's up to me. I about want eight it to times. look good. I know, but you, so you're very picky. So should I trust you? Should I not trust you? But well, you're not you trusting me? me. Every time you say it's up to me, you're like, oh, it's not. So I'm drawing things, and then you're, you're like, because you're not oh. sure of yourself. I don't even know what to do. I just don't know how to handle this. Actually, I do These have colors. another idea. What do you want? It's basically a heart. It's your call right now, but like, definitely need to settle on something. For today's elimination tattoo, you have six hours to prove your color skills with a new school design. And your time begins now. You said you didn't really want it cartoony, so yeah. I colored it darker. Oh, wow. That's uh, on the ball. Cool. I'm very proud of yeah. you. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> it was hard. <Yeah. laughs> cool. My canvas has like five personalities. She goes from being psycho crazy to giving me hugs. Just crazy. Check it out. It's very centered. I mean, it's not a symmetrical design. Getting tattooed by Nick is going to be a total challenge, and I'm a little nervous. You better uh, do it right. That's a little high. You want to go lower? Yeah. All right. She's got a couple weird requests, but she's being a good client. <laughs> I'm actually relieved. Hallelujah. To tell you the truth, it looks ugly. OK. You see those three spikes? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look right. You kept telling me to do whatever I want. You went overboard with those thins. I don't like it at all. That's not in the drawing. Why did you do that? You're freaking me, oh my god. All right, we have to fix this. For some reason, the five little magenta spikes I add totally destroyed the entire tattoo for her. This is insane. You added that without telling me. Why would you sit back you down? You said more magenta, I said yes. You didn't say magenta spikes. That is not my style. If someone's not happy with permanent work that's on their body, that's a really justified reason to freak out. But there's spikes on the vines. How is Spikes not your style? You're making me even angrier. I mean, who wants to get work done by, like, a prick? You don't do that. And especially, it's on my back. I can't see it. You're taking advantage of that. Dude, that chick is nuts in there, man. I need something other than this. I really don't want to change it. I like it. Are you kidding me? That girl in there screaming like that, man. Remember who designed the whole tattoo? Oh, give me a break. That's what I thought. Nick is just a really nice guy. There are some clients that you cannot be that nice to. You just said you're not changing it. And I that's will what change. this is about. You're I not changing change it. it. I can't you're change not changing it, in that it way. because it's your work. Is that what this is? She's just crazy. I'm in the biggest tattoo competition and she's just not giving me any leeway. Just digging my grave for me. You really just did that without telling me. Like just admit that. You right now. Do whatever you want. You added spiky crap. Where there's skin in the spikes, I can do yellow if you want it. Do the yellow. Just do the yellow. Are you sure? I'll do it. What I'm trying to do is do exactly what she wants so that I can survive in the competition. Why would he do that? To piss me off. You freaked me out. I almost had a panic attack. This is one of the best tattoos she even has on her body. I just never want to deal with a client like this ever again. This week, you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Nick. Did she want a sacred heart? She had 50 other ideas. This is the last thing we had drawn up. She was absolutely insane. At times like that, you just have to be able to work with her. It was just crazy. She's just a little off the wall. What's coming out of the heart? Smoke. Smoke. We really think it looks like a used tissue. <laughs> Why would you put magenta around a red heart? I was just under the impression that new school was weird. That's not right. It's done to be done. When you do tattoos, have a rhyme or reason. <sighs> You're f***ing your tattoo up. Unfortunately, someone has to go home. I think this tattoo drops you down a little bit and may put you in that category. Lalo and Nick did not impress the judges with your use of color. That can only mean that you two are in the bottom. Nick. Your tattoo that's the most simple thing you could have possibly done ever. I wish you could understand. I tried my hardest on this. With what I was dealing with with her, it was literally impossible. You're not changing it. And I that's will... what this is about. You're not changing change. it. Because you're not changing it, it because it's your work. Is that what this is? 
I can't even believe there's a tattoo on skin to show you guys because she was an impossible client. You did the most apprentice drawn tattoo of everybody. If I would have done what she wanted, like this is me changing it. I did the thicker outlines. Like I tried to make it new school. You know, in our profession, you know, Dave and I, we're stepping out in front of the world every night, whether I'm playing with a bad ankle or a broken finger on my shooting hand, none of that matters. All they care about is my numbers. Whether he's sick, all they care about is music. You know, at the end of the day, all these people are gonna care about is the tattoo. What you're doing is staying on these people's bodies for the rest of their lives. The judges have decided. Nick, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. At the end of the day, we gotta let somebody go. Need you to pack up your machines, go home. Today, you must create a horror tattoo. Remember, we're testing texture. If the blood and the gore doesn't come to life, you'll be headed home. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. All right, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, and I'm not even gonna worry about texture. I wanna have fun and show the world a Big Daddy tattoo. Ooh, look at that thing, it's looking good. Tattooing in this competition has been a very stressful situation. I'm not used to staying up till four in the morning and being up at seven for a tattoo challenge. I've had a rough time. What you think? Oh, yeah. You like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely, man. I wanted to do a tattoo for the world to see that screams Big Daddy Trey, and that's why I put FTW in it, the world. So if they decide to send me home, I'm good with that. This week, we asked you to create a horror tattoo. We were testing texture. Trey. As far as texture goes, there's no texture at all in this. Can you do texture? Yeah, but sometimes I overdo it and I didn't want to overdo this tattoo. You didn't give me anything to judge. You should have put some breaks and you could have put the texture in the crack. You could have put the texture in the crosscut feature of the bone. Just little details like that would have completed this challenge. Two of you impressed us and two of you did not. Mark and Kay. The judges feel that your tattoos failed miserably. There is one other tattoo that was in the bottom this week, and that was Trey's. We've heard from the hospital, and Trey is cleared to return to the competition. However, he's also up for elimination with the two of you. Trey didn't do any texture. His tattoo was more solid and more consistent. He just didn't do any texture. The judges have decided that Trey does not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Today, you must tattoo a pinup. We're testing your attention to detail. If your girl isn't hot, you're going home. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let my bro let's rock. Go, baby. Let's do this. A pinup typically is the most unforgiving of designs. It all involves intricate detail, and you can't mess up on anything. Everything has to be just right, from the hair to the toes. If anything is off, you botch the pinup. Halfway through the tattoo, I realized those legs took me too long. Cool legs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Got two hours. Lalo, he's way behind everybody in this challenge. Time is, is a problem. Dude, that is scary. The face, it looks like Chucky. We got like 10 minutes. How long? Time feels like he's dripping away faster than I want to. Six minutes, bro. Thank you. I have to finish. I'm not gonna go another unfinished tattoo, but the fact is I'm not gonna be able to finish super detailed, super clean, how I like to do my tattoos. Like her? Mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna end up in the bottom. I'm hoping that Mark does terrible. He will be the one who was gonna get eliminated. This week, we asked you to tattoo a pinup as gorgeous as the real thing based solely on your photos. We were testing your attention to detail. Lalo. This is the detail challenge. We're here looking for fine line details. This tattoo has very little detail at all. The little strap of her dress is just scritchy scratch, lines that don't connect. I hate to say this, but I ran out of time. Damn, it's killing me. I know the face didn't come out as I was expected. Mark and Lalo, your tattoos left a lot to be desired. Lalo, another tough outing. What's going on? 
What happened with the spin-up today, I can't even like understand how it happened. The only variable here that I think it makes the whole thing different is time. I never miss a phase like that. I'm very methodic with what I do, but I never have pressure of time or nothing. The judges have decided. Lalo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close up shop, man. Today, you must create a Star Wars tattoo. Remember, we're testing for contrast. Your design better pop or you'll be headed home. You have five hours to tattoo and your time starts now. You know, what's gonna look cool is the fact that you got all like these dark colors up here when you do the red. That's gonna stick out like neon. That is the plan, my friend. <laughs> okay, this guy's all red, so I'm not gonna do his whole body. I'm gonna do like the upper part, I'm gonna have the Death Star ship in the background with the lights and the atmosphere to create that contrast. Without it, I'm Red is a hard color to pack. Now I think I know why Clint gave it to you. Would you piss him off? Kay's gonna screw himself over. I don't need to help him out on that. Think I might be biting off more than I can chew, but if I don't do one of my best tattoos I've done, it's gonna be a battle for the bottom between me and Mark. Is your Star Wars tattoo, man? Oh, damn, that is sweet. I can see where I overthought my design. If it doesn't have contrast, I'm dead. This week, we had you create a Star Wars tattoo. We were testing contrast. Okay. How do you feel about the canvas that Clint assigned you? For what it is, my guy loved it. He spent more time than I've been alive dressing up as these guys. What I mostly didn't like is he's all red, so I gotta put something behind him. You didn't detail this thing out. You could have showed these wrinkles and this cloth to look like fabric, to give that contrast, to make this thing look real. Doesn't have drapery feel. Looks like he's wearing lunch meat. That's one way to look at it, but one thing I do want to add is that these guys, they do one thing. They stand there. That's pretty much it. Mark. And Kay, neither of you impressed us today. Kay, you're struggling. You're not able to show the contrast you need to show because the images that you're picking, you're not being able to convey to the skin. I respect your opinion, don't get me wrong. I've been counted out for dead before, so I gotta say that. Let me say something to you, man. You've got three years. All you're lacking is simple technique. You need that guidance. The judges have decided. Do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I appreciate you guys, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Tomorrow, you'll have five hours to complete your black and gray tattoos. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. There's two different ways that a collabo works really great. One is you can't tell who's done what. The other is two different styles fusing into one. Hopefully the artists work well together. Today, you must create a good and evil tattoo in black and gray. You have five hours to tattoo your shared canvas, and your time starts now. Oh, let's go. It's honestly a lot easier that he's getting two separate areas done, because it's not too much pull and tug. We're on two completely different areas. I usually perform better under pressure. That's like been the story of my life. Today is all about validation for me. I believe everyone is expecting me to fail, but I'm just focusing on me and getting this tattoo done the best of my abilities. I'm gonna piss somebody off. Somebody else is going home. <laughs> This week, we asked you to create a black and gray, good and evil tattoo. We were testing your gradation. You worked as a team, but you will be judged individually. Mark and Sebastian. So you guys kind of lucked out getting the forearms there, huh? Yeah, it seemed like you were just kind of working on our own. Sebastian. Man, this tattoo is super smooth. Very nice gradations. The structure of this tattoo really comes to life. These light, soft, smooth areas in here really make the depths of the black really strong. I'm a little bit of a stickler for backgrounds. They complete a tattoo, and the flames on this thing are a little wimpy. Knowing how to get your backgrounds, knowing how to create a little bit of a rhythm and a flow really completes designs nicely. Mark. Well, you really worried me with the shield when I first saw it. So I thought it was gonna look flat, but you did a really good job with that light gray in there, making that cross look beveled, giving that edge around that shield, and making that shield lighter so it does stand apart from that chest. You have the easiest tattoo. 
You don't have a face, you don't have hands. You had pretty minimal amount of things that you needed to hit. I think you're killing yourself by doing these mini tats. I made actually three pattern sizes. Every time I've gone with the bigger one, I shot myself in the foot by not getting able to finish it the way I wanted. This time, it was just me trying to find my middle ground and I went with the smaller size. You're stifled right now. You're not in your comfort zone. You're not flowing into the next round with a bop. You're coming in, standing back a little bit. You're not attacking. You didn't knock it out of the park. Sarah, Mark, and Clint, your tattoos did not impress us. Mark. The phrase, too little, too late, comes to mind with this tattoo. I mean, I know I've been down here a handful of times. I've been fading lately. But I know the things that I need to pick up. So I'm adapting, adjusting, and doing what I can to progress. The judges have decided. Mark not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Mark, looking at how many times you've been down, Sarah's been in the top, you never have. Clint has been down here, not as many times as you. This came down strictly to a report card. Yes, sir. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must create an animal tattoo. Remember, we're testing dimension. If that animal isn't leaping off your canvas, you'll be going home. You have six hours to tattoo. And your time starts now. At the end of the day, these kids are here for 100 grand. It's about who can do all things perfectly. And that's a tough order to fill. I want these kids to come out and shine. Let's see what these kids got. It's a little redundant at this point. I've been stuck with black and gray. I've been stuck with these hairy creatures. I want to try to do something different, something that not only interests me, but just is not boring to the judges. I don't like the fact that Jamie doesn't have tattoos. Every one of us wears the mark. We all get tattooed because we love it and we believe in it. How can you be a tattooer and not have tattoos. If you're going to be a tattooer, you have to have tattoos. I can't respect not having tattoos. Jamie's been tattooing for 17 years. He's a kick-ass artist. It's really fucking tight. If Jamie nails this wolf, it's going to blow my wolf out of the water. That looks sick. I really wish my guy would let me do a snarling wolf. The pressure is enormous. Sarah puts a really big, black, ugly, tribal mess on the right side of this wolf. It's a big, unnecessary, dark splotch. It looks like a cover-up. If I was Sarah, I'd be very concerned that that's going to be her trip home. Well, that's nice. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Jamie. You feeling confident about this? You guys said you wanted to see something different. I've already done two wolves. I just tried to turn the corner and do it different than I had done the other ones just for a change. I feel like today you just got out tricked. I know that you can do her. Why didn't you do that today? That darker skin was killing me a little bit and I was just really working to get the image readable. I like the tattoo a lot. This wolf is pretty fierce looking, but I need you to do me a favor, get some tattoos. If you want to be respected as a tattooer in the business, you need some tattoos. In tattooing people, you got to know what it's like and what it feels like and experience it so you know. I understand I have 17 years of karmic retribution, so. 17 years of waiting. Get some tattoos real soon. This week, we're testing dimension. Tonight, there is a top two and a bottom two. Jamie and Sarah. You guys are the bottom two. Jamie, everybody in the house did this? It's my little Ink Master 2 collabo. I'm not feeling that one at all. A little bit of a mockery of what you're doing with the drawings. It was not intended as disrespect to you guys in any way. Forrest, thoughts for Jamie? Not too many. I do honestly feel like I've been one of the more well-rounded, more solid tattoo artists throughout this competition. This is my first time in the bottom. I look at that huge area from the eyes to the top of that. Do I want a huge area of half of my forearm, just nothingness? but I don't feel like I did anything that's undoable. There's nothing you can do about the cover-up on the outside of Sarah's piece. That's there no matter what. The judges have decided. Jamie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Jamie, I did not want you to leave. My vote was not for you, it was for Sarah. I got outweighed. I think you've worked really hard and you've shown a lot of versatility. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must create a portrait tattoo. Remember, we're testing precision. If your tattoo doesn't look like the picture, you'll be packing. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's do this, man. 
And I'm not gonna lie, dude, I was looking at like your art and it was kind of making me a little nervous because it's a portrait and I didn't really see any of those from you. So it was like, I was like, oh my God. I'm definitely, I'm putting a lot of faith in you. That woman's a saint in my eyes. She always will be. You know, you gotta have confidence in your artist because okay. that negative projection sometimes works against you. My canvas is putting an immense amount of pressure on me. Her face looks a little bit fatter. We squish it down so it looks fatter. Mm -hmm. When we put it on your leg and it curves around your leg, it's gonna look skinnier. You see how it skinnies out? I'm convinced that the curve of the canvas is gonna elongate the portrait. By squishing it down a little bit, it's gonna compensate for that. I need you behind me on this, man. Trust me, I, <laughs> I need to be behind you on good, this. Good, good, <laughs> Everybody's wondering if I can pull this portrait off. It's pretty intimidating. I start coloring in the hair, and I'm realizing that squishing the photo was a bad idea. How are you feeling about it? As long as she don't look like she just got out of Taco Bell, I'm golden. I gave this guy a fat grandma. That's the one fear that my canvas had. We still talk about her like she's in the next room. That's how much she meant to the family. I'm trying to project confidence in this scenario, even though I'm super freaking out on the inside. To make her look a little thinner, I kick a little more shadow on the jawbone. And I also bring the hair in a little bit on the right side. But even after all that, it still looks chubby. He's like, I'm covering the face. I don't want anyone to see it. Jesse squeezed the image. I'm not sure where that was a good idea. I'm looking around at all the tattoos, and I'm realizing that mine's the worst. When it comes to elimination, whoever I'm in the bottom with, I'm hoping the judges will see more potential in me moving forward than them. This week, we asked you to create a portrait tattoo. We're testing precision. Mr. Jesse Smith. How are you feeling about this? I feel like I dropped the ball. We're judging precision. I gotta say, I don't feel like any of the details in this tattoo are precise. The hair could be a little more realistic. Hair is a tough thing to do. It's one of the hardest things in a portrait. It could have been more detailed. It looks a little too just not real enough. You look at this photo, you see strands. The way you tattooed this hair is more like a weird fur slash tribal pattern. Not to mention just the entire perimeter of the face does not look the same. You totally it up. Today, we tested you on precision in your tattoo. In this group of four, there was a top two and a bottom two. I mean, I don't have too many legs to stand on here. My portrait obviously sucks. And if we're looking for precision and detail, this is Sebastian's strong suit. So if there's one thing he shouldn't drop the ball on, it should be this. If I dropped the ball in new school when I was in the bottom two in new school, I would have sent myself home. I would like to say Jesse's a dickhead for throwing me under the bus. They didn't execute precision. Jesse made his face fatter. That's up precision, trying to make a face fat. What's that, Sebastian? Talking about executing precision. Like, he made a face fatter. You don't ever change the actual face. Literally, change it. We're seeing a new side of you today. To hear him throw me under the bus like that is not a happy moment for him. Make a case for yourself. Don't make a case off of me. But that's what you do, man. You should have nailed it. That's all I got to say. The judges have decided. Jesse, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Get the f out of here. Artists, this is it. This tattoo will ultimately determine which three of you will be headed to the live finale and who's headed home. Remember, you're going to be judged on all of the essential skills. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Bang. Do it. There is so much pressure. These judges have just such high standards. I feel like I'm overthinking this dragon a lot. I really do not understand why Tattoo Baby decided to do this dragon. Baby should have just talked her guy into getting something else. I was able to talk him into a different direction. Baby should have been as well. Holy cow. That's pretty rocking. It looks amazing. This week, we're testing you on all the essential skills required to be an ink master. Line, color, texture, dimension, and everything in between. Tattoo baby. How'd you feel about this? 
Well, when I first found out that I got the guy with the dragon, I knew that if I do this wrong, I'm gonna get my ass chewed and it could take me home. This was a big dice roll because to me, you did it in the spirit of competition. Like, I'm gonna show these guys that I can do this thing and I admire that. However, today is a tough day to gamble. You're missing a lot of key elements. You have so much dragon and no arms, no legs. You got these crazy hand-like claws. They just, they don't do it. You crammed as much as you could into an incorrect anatomical figure. This one was a bummer, man. I think I stand pretty strong because I've shown some kick-ass tattoos. Today, we tested you on all the skills needed to be an Ink Master. Based on these tattoos, one of you will not be going to the finale. Sarah, tattoo baby. Sebastian, one of you will not be going to the finale. Tattoo baby. I like the fight. I like you coming out and swinging for the fences and trying to do something to wow us, but you weren't sure of what and how to create a dragon to make all parts of the dragon work in your favor. Obviously today that was not a great representation of myself. For that I'm disappointed and I'm disappointed I disappointed you guys. Your outlining and your basics, your 101, you didn't pull it off in this challenge. And it's unfortunate because you've had a great competition. I've shown my weaknesses, but I've also shown that I can wow you and that I can impress you and that I can go a long way with a lot of different things. Do you think that you did the weakest tattoo of the day today? I think that I did the most difficult design-wise tattoo, but I don't think that I did the worst, weakest tattoo. The judges have decided. Tattoo baby. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just want to say one thing, and even though I'm leaving, I'm leaving here a stronger artist because of you guys, so thank you for your judgment. Listen. This is torture. You have the artistic flair to do the things that you want to do, but where you've excelled in this competition has been places where the technical side of the tattooing has been a little less important. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop.